Thank you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Next agenda item. It's Tequila Bar and Grill, 7002 Mainville Pike, District 7. Do we have anyone here representing La Tequila Grill? Andrew Bemel, Knox County and Blount County Ball, 616 West Hill Avenue, <coughs> Knoxville 37902. Thank you. Would you mind spelling your name, please, sir? Bemel, B-E-A-M-E-R. And your counsel, I am counsel. Thank you. And, um, and as a preliminary who? motion, I guess I can have my clients tell them names. And Please. Address. Hello, everyone. My name is Aurora Centillion Palacios, and one, I'm one um, of the owners of uh, Tequila Bar and Grill. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm sure that you will need to spell your name. A U R O R A, Aurora. Thank you. My name is uh, Leopoldo Castañeda, and I'm one of the part of uh, Tequila Bar and Grill. You want me to spell my name too? Please. L E O P S and Patrick O L D O. P A D. L E. It's on, it's on the agenda. O P O L D O. Thank you, sir. I'll turn this over to Mr. Moyers. As just a preliminary matter, um, I was requesting, and I had spoken with um, former Chancellor Moyers, or Mr. Moyers, I really don't know how to properly address prefer. that. <laughs> but um, for full disclosure, Chancellor Moyers swore me in many years ago. <laughs> but um, I was requesting a um, reset of this board. I'm afraid that my clients only received this letter or this the summons, we did not receive the attached um, allegations. So all we received was the allegations of disorderly conduct is all it said. So as such, um, we would be needing more time to adequately uh, defend those allegations. But we do seek to defend those allegations. I don't believe it would necessarily need to be a lot of time. I don't know how often this board meets, if it's bi-weekly or, or monthly. That's right. I kind, of, I kind of figured, but I wasn't sure. But we would be requesting that. Thank you. Uh, so is it, is it your contention that they were, that the, your defendants had not received any of these complaints as they occurred? No, well, we might have known about a few of those. I don't. Yeah, cut, Ruth. Yeah, Andrew, come to the Sorry. microphone. I don't know which. The the problem is is in looking, we knew of one or two of those. I don't know if we knew of all of them. No, I mean, literally, all I got, all they got was a sh this was all I received. I don't. My understanding is looking at the file was that there was between six or seven, depending on how you count this October 1, October 2nd. I'm not sure if it, I'd have to, I had to, I really didn't get a chance to analyze it. I, so I really don't have the, the great answer for you on that. Um, Mr. Beamer, when were you, when were you engaged to represent the bar and grill? Thursday. Thursday? Was the, well, yes. So, and I was actually in the court of appeals last week. So uh, I hate to say that this maybe did not get, I, I couldn't actively get to this as much as I maybe would have wanted to. Mr. Moyers, would you please give this board clarification on what we can and cannot do in this specific circumstance? Well, the board has a great deal of leeway here. Um, I can defend pretty much anything the board does so long as there is material evidence in the record that supports what the board does. Um, it's up to the board whether it feels like and I, and I can't say, it. I was not involved in the service or the preparation of the summons. Uh, so I don't know whether or not the summons that went out had the attached police reports to it. I, I, I can't say. Mr. Book might know. Um, unfortunately, I do not. So it's up to the board 
to determine whether or not it wishes to go forward with this today and take the testimony from the officers and ask uh, the owners if they have a response or whether you'd uh, allow uh, Mr. Beamer to get up to speed on these allegations and hear it next <coughs> month. That's, again, completely within the province of this board and so long as, as uh, there's notice and an opportunity to be heard and, and the court or the, the board finds that there's uh, material evidence that suggests that there's a violation, uh, that's all that the board need do. So it's within your purview and your, your discretion what you'd like to do here. In, in, in your view, Mr. Moyers, is material evidence the, uh, these tickets and these summons that were given and the written? Do we have officers here to testify as to these matters? Okay. Um, the testimony, the live testimony of the witness uh, of witnesses is, is much preferable to the police reports. Police reports, as Commissioner uh, <coughs> Lee would probably tell you, are generally not admissible uh, in a court of law. Uh, so uh, we would prefer live testimony in these cases. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Schoonmaker. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Lieutenant Lawson, last month did we not get a breakdown of what actually transpired at this location? Okay, because uh, yes, who sir, actually... Lieutenant Walker has that information. Okay, you actually briefed us. Yes, sir. Okay, was there some, was there a representative of... Uh, the restaurant, or excuse me, the bar and grill here at that time? Uh, yes, sir. The yes. gentleman right here was here yes, so, last month. So the gentleman heard the all the allegations a month ago, but then waited till Thursday of last week to hire counsel. Uh, that's my understanding, yes, sir. Okay. So so he, he knew what was going on for 30 days? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you. Commissioner Lee. Um, thank you, Madam Chair. My question would be, so we do not have any notice that shows they were served properly, the, well, they, all the documents, other than that one page? Well, they were served with the summons. They're required to be here. Um, I'm hearing that at least one of the owners heard the charges that were laid against him before. It's, it's, it's rough on Mr. Beamer being hired late, but we've all been in that situation a time or two. Um, I, I think that the, the uh, requirements of uh, due process are met uh, if the board wishes to go forward, or the board can, can defer it for another 30 days and hear it then. It's, it's, it's completely within your purview. I, I know what it's like to be retained as a lawyer at the last minute. And, um, <clears throat> I, I would, my, my suggestion would be that we give this lawyer appropriate time, that we reset it till next month. Mr. Uh, Commissioner Daly, have you, uh, all right, thank you. Um, I, I, I would like to remind the board that I, in addition to the handout that uh, Director Book sent you, I also sent you copies um, uh, earlier of all of the uh, summons that had been issued from from this this residence or from this business. Mr. Schoonmaker. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Lieutenant, how many violations have they had at that location in the past, what, you have a year or a year and a half? Uh, I can tell you since uh, January 1 of 2022, there's been 31 calls for service at the El Tequila Bar, uh, varying from fights to thefts to uh, medical calls. Um, that goes through November 10th of 2022. I was unable to get anything more current. Uh, we had a uh, unusual amount of threats to schools today and our 911 system was overloaded. So I was not able to get the calls for service from November until today. Uh, I can get that for you for the okay. for the next beer so, board. So in 10 months, they've had 31 different times that the Knox County Sheriff's Department has responded to this business. Is that, yes. is that what you're saying? Yes, sir, in that, okay. in that 10 month period, yes, sir. Okay, and he was aware of this 30 days ago when he was here before us as well. Yes, sir. So I guess I have a problem that 
you know, this is obviously a business that that is a consummate uh, violator of Knox County's ordinances, and just because at the 11th hour they decide to hire an attorney, um, that we have to put our whole, everything on hold for them. Um, you know, that just gives them another month to continue to do what they've done for the past year. So I'm going to be voting against this because I think this is wrong. I think we have the responsibility to the community that if we have a, a conscientious violator of our beer laws, and it is a privilege to sell beer in Knox County, it's not a right, that uh, we should take action today. Thank you. Commissioner Daly? Thank you. I did have a que some questions. Uh, Lieutenant Walker? Yes, sir. Uh, you made this statement. That was one of the questions I was going to ask. Since December the 19th, do we know of any calls out there? Uh, like I said, uh, since yeah. uh, 911, we had multiple threats to schools today, uh, yeah. bomb threats, uh, mass you know, shooting events that uh, were threatened to six of our schools today that we have been running ragged trying to figure that out and uh, multiple arrests have been made by of students that uh, did these hoaxes. So uh, our 911 system was overloaded with uh, responding to all the parents' calls in and they had no time to uh, pull up the stats for me today. Uh, and I apologize for that. Uh, I would have had the stats had it not been for uh, the threats we had today. Uh, that's very important. Sir, would you my name, would you answer that question? Do you know if there's been any calls out there since December the 19th? I do not know of any, but I'm more than happy to. We do not. Um, we, I mean, the, what I saw was seven police complaints. I don't know. Now I'm hearing there's 31 calls, so I'm even confused. I don't know which thing we're going from here, yeah. is it? Well, 31 calls might be, uh, go out there and be quiet. Yeah, there's 31 complaints yeah. that officers responded to. There were seven, seven reports okay. that uh, had been done. The one that culminated most of everything was uh, on October 1st uh, when officers responded to a riot that was happening at the bar. Uh, we had to bring out the entire shift in order to quell the violence that was going on inside the parking lot. And that's when uh, officers observed on their body cameras uh, kids being uh, shuttled out of the bar at one o'clock and two o'clock in the morning, some in strollers. Uh, that was the uh, culmination of all this and the, and the complaint brought forward to have their beer permit removed. You know what, I would love, I, I'm sorry I can't pronounce your name, Castida? Castaneda. Uh, excuse me for that. Yes, uh, you were here last month. Yes. And I'm just interested to see and get the information you know to not have anything happen after the 19th, and I'm just wondering if something happened after the 19th. So do you do you recall the officers having to come out since the 19th of December? No. And this is the, I don't know his name. He hasn't, he was a security, he's a security guard at the bar. Um, but no, we have no, Please. All right. All right. Um, uh, Mr. Security Guard, yes, did you have something that you wanted to say? Yes, he'll have to be sworn in. I would in. like to say. Yeah, to identify go. yourself, your name and address, please. Uh, my name is uh, Antoine Little. Uh, I think the address is 7002 Maynardville Pike. Since Thank I you. took over head of security in uh, September. Point of order. Has he, was you sworn in? Did you yes, raise he was. Yeah, yeah. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, thank you. Yes, sir. Since I took over head of security in September, it have really, it have not been any fights up there. <clears throat> not one fight. Not one fight. And we do have a good security system that y'all are welcome to come in there and look at it, if y'all want to. <clears throat> he got security system outside, and he got it inside. Several cameras. And y'all can come in there and look at the cameras if y'all want to. Haven't been one fight in there since I took over to head of security. Now, we have a lot of incidents with people arguing, and, and we 
break it up real fast. And but a fight? There haven't been no fight. I put down everything I love. There haven't been no fight. Now the officers have been coming by. They come by, talk to us, chat with us. They might say that news are too loud. They might say that they just ran past to check, make sure everything okay, and then they go up the uh, up the road and sit there and have conversation. But as far as that, the officers is real cool. But as far as I actually fight, no, nah, it haven't been no fight. Mm -mm. No, I don't know about the calls. Now we did have a security guard that was in charge. He had been calling the police a lot. I don't for well. He been calling me a lot, threatening me, and he calling this young man right here, threatening him. But that was months ago. He had stopped doing that. Oh, but all right. since September, I, I haven't seen no fight there. I haven't. So I you, have not seen no fight. Your statement is you went to work in September and things have been better. I mean, yeah, it's been a lot better. I mean, you get people that, you know, argue and tussle a little bit. But, okay. you know, with my method, we, we stop it real fast and we separate them. The next thing you know, at the end of the night, they they good friends. Yes, sir. They're good Thanks. friends. But as far as the... A call with a part of fighting? I, I, don't, I don't really know where that comes from. Honestly, All right. I don't. Thank you. Thank you for that. Commissioner nope. Oster? Madam Chair. Oh, I apologize. I thought you were completely this, finished. I just want to clarify clarification. This discussion is whether to suspend or revoke his license. Is that correct? Law That's director? at our discretion. Yes, sir. Right, law director? Yes, I don't think. Is there a motion currently on the floor? No, no, no. Okay. Then yes. That's, that's, that's what, what it would discussing. be. All right. Thank Correct. you. Ms. Hoster. Um, thank you for the clarification that there hasn't been any fights, um, and I appreciate that. I don't think I'd mess with you, so you're a big <laughs> old boy. Um, <laughs> but what does concern me is we were here 30 days ago. Yes, ma'am. I appreciate the fact that um, the attorney was just hired, but he really should have been hired the day after this was heard, in my opinion. And so I feel like that that is, you know, that's a concern. It's a concern to me as a commissioner that gets a lot of these reports um, the other day of what's going on up there. And I don't want somebody seriously hurt, injured, or worse in this establishment. And I think anybody around the situation is also concerned. So um, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of torn on this. I understand hiring an attorney, but I think the attorney needed to be hired as soon as you knew that you were coming here and not waiting until Thursday because Every attorney that I would think would have a busy schedule and couldn't just jump right on it. So um, I'm, I may be leaning a little bit more towards um, Mr. Schoomaker at this point, but that's where my concern is. And if we're getting calls, there's obviously problems going on and, and we have to be respectful. And for somebody to have a beer license and to sell alcohol and to have an establishment, that is a major responsibility. And that has got to be taken serious, and it's taken serious by this board. So, but thank you for, for clarifying for us. I understand. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you. Commissioner Ward? Has there been any other criminal charges besides the underage drinking? Uh, I'm sorry, what, what was the gentleman's name? Sir? To my knowledge, there's not been any underage charges no underage at this drinking. time. No. No. no, they're usually open on Friday nights, really, really mm -hmm. late. So there's no uh, criminal charges, though, on anything else? Not on the business owners, no. Okay. So the only thing we have to go on right now is noise complaints, correct, at this time? We I'm have sorry, no sir. We have noise complaints in, in, public, dis in public disorder. The uh, the riot that uh, took place on October one after the gentleman took the, the final took riot. over the final yeah. riot for me please he said he didn't see any fights I mean that one was where we had to bring the entire shift in order to break up all the fights in the in the parking lot and there were multiple arrests made in the parking lot of the patrons so there's so a large fight broke out in the parking lot it was in the bar spilled out into the parking lot that's where that was at uh, two o'clock in the morning. And that's when they saw the kids being shuttled out of the bar in strollers. Okay. Thank you. Commissioner Durrett? Just to clarify what Commissioner Ward just asked, they are not here for a beer permit violation. Is that correct? For underage consumption? No. They're here for 
disorderly conduct, inciting a riot, and public nuisance. Uh, nuisance business, yes, ma'am. Nuisance business. Yeah. Okay. That's all for now. I may. All right. And for uh, clarification, Mr. Law Director, that in fact does follow under our preview. Yeah. Uh, revocation, suspension, or imposition. Um, may be made for any violation of any provision of any article of, of our beer chapter or whenever in the uh, opinion of the board the premises are being maintained and operated in such a manner as to be detrimental to the public health, safety, or morals. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Daly? Yes. <clears throat> thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you for the information. If everyone, the email that uh, Commissioner Hill has sent it's the third one. It tells that on Saturday, October 1st, through the set and Sunday the 2nd, they were there, responded multiple incidents. Five people were arrested. Uh, disorderly conduct, fighting. Uh, pull that up from Commissioner Hill and read that while you got a chance there. It tells about the baby strollers and all that. Uh, I've already looked up three incidents in December, December 1st, 10th, 2nd, and 10 -22. There's already been since, you know, there was no supposedly no incidents after December or October or September. I think there's already been three here. So look that up. It's interesting what happened that day. Thank you. Commissioner Ward, all right, no. All right, is there any more discussion? Can I ask some questions, Your Honor? I mean, this board? I mean, Please if it's, if my motion to be reset is not being granted, I have some questions for the police. All right. Um, Commissioner Moyer, should we um, continue with discussion on this, or do we need to get a motion on the floor before we hear from the attorney? Well, I don't think there is a motion with the second. No, there is not. At this point. Did you formally make that motion to postpone? No, I, I, I didn't make a motion. I, I, I was just commenting was just and commenting seeing what we could do. Okay. All right. Um, do you, did you still want to All right. All right. Um, if the board has no objections, I, I, I do not mind if, if he questions um, the uh, sheriff. I, I think maybe the first order of business might be whether we are inclined to postpone this or not um, because of the legal representation. And then the result of that motion and vote would dictate whether we move forward with other questions. So do I, do I hear a motion in regard to that, Commissioner uh, Durrett? Um, I'm kind of with, I'm on both sides here. I would like for the the defense counsel to be able to have more time to look at this and even, I don't know how it works, if they can question the officers and they can have dialogue on their own time or if it all has to be here. But also, I don't want anything else to continue uh, regarding any public harm or nuisance. So my motion would be to postpone until February, our February's board meeting with a 30-day suspension of their beer license. And that in no way suspends their ability to serve liquor. I second that. All right, we have a motion on the floor to uh, postpone um, the hearing for 30 days so they can uh, have legal representation, but also to move forward with a 30-day suspension of of the beer license. Do I hear a second? And Lundy seconded that. Is there discussion? Commissioner Ward. Do we have precedence so that I'm just trying to make sure that we're not going to get sued later on? Or do we have any precedence set already for what, what has been given down to a similar situation in the past? Uh, I'm trying to think of any. Normally, this body has, has addressed underage drinking, but uh, I'm sure that in the past there have other been there have been incidents of nuisance type violations. Uh, I can't think of any offhand, but it's been a few years. Uh, I can say that 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 is a ground for suspending or revoking uh, a uh, a license. And if this 
board finds based on the testimony that's been given today, along with the testimony that was given by the officers last month, that that is enough to justify a 30-day suspension while you determine whether you wish to take any additional action in February. I think that's supportable. I feel very similar to, to uh, Commissioner Durrett um, on this one. I just want to make sure that we... You might, you might find in February that a 30-day suspension was justified and give them time served. Uh, you know, that, yeah. that's, these are, you have a wide range yeah. of discretion with regard to how to I, handle this matter. I hate handing down judgment before, <clears throat> I'm, I'm very much a due process person, like personally. So um, I, this one's a struggle for me because I feel both, I feel the same way you do, but like, yeah. They still can hold. T yeah. Sell alcohol. No, I, I it's understand. just the beer. I understand that. It's just we're we're passing down judgment before we hear the full discussion and and this is it's not like our normal like, hey, we caught you selling underage to underage people, it's very black and white. It's not like there's not gray. This is like this is a court hearing basically is what we're going off of. Like we have to hear evidence from everybody and everybody has to give testimony. It's gonna take a minute, it's not gonna be done in twelve minutes. We have commission now, but I just struggle with the, the idea of we're going to sentence them to 30 days before we even prove them guilty. And if they can provide evidence next next month that proves that they're innocent, all right, we just punish them for 30 days for, I'm not saying that they are innocent, but I'm not saying they're guilty either. Right. That's, that's where I, I'm having this struggle of like, all right, we're going to punish you before we even judge if you're guilty or not. That's because who knows? Because I don't know. I don't think any of us know black and white 100% for sure. That's what the whole, so that's what I'm struggling with right now. Commissioner Jared, did you have a response? I am struggling with that too. And, and what made me, compelled me to make that particular motion is the fact that they can still, in fact, sell liquor. Their business is not closing. They can still operate at the same hours in which they are operating currently. Um, it just... Mm. kind of holds to them to task. And I, I agree, it is kind of, we're punishing them beforehand. I, so, it's, this is a tough one. Uh, Mr. Poster, was I first or you? Okay. I'm not um, sure. I'm gonna support um, this motion. But let me say, because you guys were here 30 days ago, your attorney is standing here. Your security guard is standing here. I'm going to make it very, very clear from District 3 that the best thing for you to do in the next 30 days before you come in front of this board is to get all the security in place, be running it correctly, keep the fights down, and try to come back here with a clean record. And that's the only way that I'm going to support that if I know that I can have some assurance that you guys are really going to work towards this. Uh, because the security of, you know, of Knox County citizens are at stake here. And that's just the only thing that really concerns me. Thank you. Commissioner Daly. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Lieutenant Walker. Sir. Can they bring their own beer? Uh, that is up to the, uh, the beer board as to whether or not they allow them to uh, BYOB, basically bring your own beer. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they can bring their own beer they want yeah. to unless... Mr. Would you Law like to amend the motion? Mr. Law Director? Mm -hmm. Did you hear my question? I did. I, I believe that, that establishments can allow uh, if they wish. It's, I think it's up to them. A lot of places do that, have corking fees and things like that. Uh, so, yes, if people wanted to bring their own, I suppose they, they could. What we regulate is the sale of alcohol by a license holder. So. Well, what I'm... What I'm afraid of is that in 30 days, and we, this does uh, pass and postpone for 30 days, they start bringing their own beer, and then there's another fight breaks out, and somebody gets hurt, seriously hurt, because they brought their own beer. It's all, it's a hypothetical, but it could happen. So I'm not voting. I, I don't think that, I wouldn't be voting. I'm not voting. I think we need to make a decision. Um. 
Mr. Moyers, is there uh, a, a difference in the beer licenses granted from this board, whether the permit says it's for on-premises or on and off-premises? Uh, yes, we, we make a distinction between on and on off on and off-premise sales. So a carry-in from out, from outside and not sold, would that be considered a... No, that's that's normally a, in the discretion of the, the premises owner. Uh, they're, they're, not, they're not doing any sales if people are bringing the alcohol onto the premises. Thank you. Um, Mr. Moyers, do you have anything else you'd like to add to this? <laughs> well, I mean, t to me, the difficulty here is that, that we're making, we're suspending the license without making a finding. Uh, if, if the motion were to be stated that, that based on the evidence that's before the board, you think a 30-day suspension is justifiable at a minimum, with the possibility that you might go for a greater sanction after they've had an opportunity to, to be heard further, then that would be more supportable than suspending them in the absence of a finding that there have been violations there. So I, I think that any motion that seeks to suspend their license needs at a minimum to state that this board is finding that there have been uh, enough reports, there's enough evidence to suggest that a suspension is warranted pending further investigation and consideration. Thank you for that. Um, Commissioner Durrett, do you have any interest in amending or restating your motion? Of course. I'm just, I'm basically at the will of the body at this point. I'm kind of trying to read the tea leaves. I wanted to allow them time, but also hold them accountable. So I am open to suggestions for amendments to this. Would anyone like to? Uh, I could word one. Okay. Commissioner Beeler. Thank you, Madam Chair. I mean, I'll certainly defer to Mr. Moyers. But <laughs> I, I would, would suggest something to, uh, to the effect of we find sufficient evidence to, to warrant uh, a 30 day suspension uh, and a postponement of further hearing on this matter. But, but Mr. Moyers, I'll throw I, it to I, you. I think, I think that's sufficient to. to on the, on the basis of what we heard, I think that's sufficient to be uh, upheld. Uh, so a finding by the board that there's sufficient evidence to find that 30-day suspension is warranted pending further investigation and consideration by this board at its February hearing, a February meeting. Thank you. So we have a motion and a second mm -hmm. to that. Is everyone clear on that? On the yeah, just to be clear, All right. they cannot sell beer for 30 days, Correct. and they will be back before this beer board in February, whatever that day is. Yeah. Correct. And we are finding a, uh, a um, finding of true to justify this 30-day suspension. Any other questions or comments? Uh, before we vote, I do absolutely support this. I, I feel like the... There is a preponderance of the evidence right now just in what the um, uh, sheriff's office is, is, has shared with us. So no further discussion. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? That motion carries. Do you understand that, um, that you, you are uh, suspended from, uh, prohibited from selling beer within your establishment? for the next 30 days and that you will be required to report again at our February meeting and, and hopefully your council will be prepared at that point to, to move forward. Are there any questions about that? Is it just the beer or the liquor? Just, just the beer. Just the beer. This body does not govern the sale of... Are we allowed to make any... Uh, speak in the microphone. Account? So as I was hearing, uh, are we allowed to let people bring their own beer? That's that's a decision at your I'm discretion. Sure. I've got to I've got to research that question. I, I I need to research that question. I don't know, but if you'll have your attorney call me, we'll we'll figure that out. Okay. Okay. When is that thirty? When is the next? When is the next um, 
February 21st. That's the Tuesday, correct? Oh, February 21st. Thank you. Thank it is you. on a, a Tuesday due to the holiday. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank no. you. You're welcome. I see nothing else on the agenda. Does anyone have any comments? <laughs> One. Yes, Forgive sir. me, Madam Chair. Madam Vice Chair, Madam Chair, yes, may we have a short break yes. before we begin commission? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, we are adjourned.